Hi, my name's Rafe Momsen. I work at Prince of Wales Hospital and I'm a neurosurgeon or also called a brain surgeon but a lot of the surgery that I do isn't only on the brain, it's also on the, uh, on the arms and legs and the spine as well. So. Uh, it's a it's a good, it's a it's a fascinating job. It's a hard job. It's hard work. It's a lot of hours, but there are a lot of benefits to the job. What you'll be seeing today is a operation on, uh, on, a, on a young patient who has a spinal cord problem, a spinal cord compression. And we're going to see if we can make him better. We're going to see if we can make him walk again and uh, function normally again. You can see here on his scan. Uh, this is this uh, type of scan is called an MRI scan, and. Um, he has a very large disc herniation in his back and it's squashing his spinal cord and his legs don't work. What you wear is a reflection of safety, not only for the patient but also for the staff member. As you can see here, I'm wearing a, um, uh, my usual theatre garb. So firstly, depending if you're a surgeon or what you do, you have some appropriate eyewear. You always need to protect your eyes because of of, uh, of uh, if you have a blood splash or a splash of, uh, of medications into your eyes, that can be that can be bad. Then we wear uh, so-called blues, theatre blues, they're called, or theatre scrubs. And they uh, the good thing about theatre scrubs is that you can get them as dirty as you like, and someone else cleans them for you. Here on my feet are what's called booties, surgical booties. Now these are not to protect the floor, they are to protect your own shoes. Then headwear. The reason why we wear headwear is if I have my head over the patient, I don't want you know, my hair falling into the, into the wound of the patient. The purpose of this part of the procedure is to make sure that your hands are nice and clean because although we wear gloves and gowns, and you can never be totally sure that the, that the glove doesn't tear uh, and that the patient uh, doesn't get any, any infections. Let's go for it. It's hard work, but it's also rewarding work. The opportunity to do research, to make a difference in society, to contribute, no problem is the same. So each patient that I deal with is an individual, and you've got to, 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 to deal with that individual as a, uh, as a, as a uh, new problem. And that's one of the good things. It's, uh, the job is never boring, I can guarantee you. I never, I never wake up in the morning and think to myself, oh, another day at the office. I mean, I, uh, I don't think that I've ever, ever said that to myself. So, so it's fascinating. That's the uh, first and foremost. When you think of neurosurgery, you probably think of brains only. But as it so happens, neurosurgeons do a whole range of, of procedures. And if you, you, can, you can break it up into a couple of different categories. So operations on the brain. And common things would include brain tumors, and head injuries. Um, then operations on the spine, so for, uh, for, for spinal injuries, spinal tumours and wear and tear changes of the spine. And then thirdly, the uh, category of operations that I also do a lot of is what's called peripheral nerve surgery. So that's nerves in the arms and the legs. Uh, I left school when I was 17 and did six years of med school. And then I did about four years of general surgery. And then I did about another six years of neurosurgical training. So. From leaving school to becoming a neurosurgeon, about about 16 years. Well, I've just uh, seen the chap who uh, we operated on a few weeks ago, and uh, I went for the good guys. He looks fantastic. Uh, he's back walking. Uh, he's uh, he's happy. He's pain free, and he'll be back at work probably within about a month. So, great result.